Imagine waking up one day and seeing a black artist mining their own business online. Imagine then thinking to yourself, hmm, I should steal this artist's artwork, whitewash it, and then call the original art a flop. flop. Well, that's actually what happened to me the other day, and I want to talk about it. Wait a damn minute. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, I unfortunately had to deal with some unsavory people who think it's okay to steal my artwork and defile it by quote unquote fixing it. If you're a long time subscriber, you probably know that this isn't my first time having to deal with people who are mostly racist, stealing and destroying my artwork. But this certainly is the first time I've seen people straight up whitewashing my works. I can already hear some people starting to victim blame me by bringing up my opinions on blackwashing versus whitewashing and I want to nip that in the butt. I think we can all agree that taking a black artist's persona and whitewashing it while calling the original a flop is a no-no and simply racist. And that's what happened to me. This is something black artists unfortunately have to deal with and I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about it while using myself as an example. This video will most likely be triggering, especially if you're black, because I'll be talking about racism, so if you're not in the right headspace for that, I understand. If you are an ally, however, I think this video is very important for you to watch, so you can get a better idea of the treatment black creators and artists have to deal with. This is a very important topic for me, and I don't want it to be buried by YouTube. I hope you can help boost this video in order for it to reach a larger audience, so please like the video, comment for the algorithm, and share it to at least one other person you know or to your group chat. That way YouTube has no choice but to promote this video and we can spread awareness of this topic. I have one more disclaimer before starting. Please do not harass or bully anyone mentioned in this video. The most you should do is just report the accounts for harassment, but don't give them your precious energy, time, or attention. Instead, leave your thoughts in the comment section of this video. And that way, instead of boosting the racist, you're supporting me directly. Thank you again in advance. Let's get into it. I've talked about fixing art and whitewashing on my channel before, and I have prior experience of my art being stolen and fixed to look like racist caricatures. This happened last year when I drew myself as Kiki from Kiki's delivery service, and some people were so outraged that I drew a self-insert into a show they liked that they went ahead and created multiple different iterations of me in racist ways. I've talked about these experiences in a few of my videos, which I'll be linking in the description. But the reason I'm bringing this all up is that while my art has been defiled before, I have recently experienced a different kind of art fixing which prompted me to make this video. Basically, I was approached by a subscriber who told me that when they tried to search for my content online, the first video that was recommended to them was a video that was called, quote, fixing Tumi's art, end quote. I went to see the video in question and was greeted by a user with a gotcha profile picture, which is kinda sus already, but regardless, the video showed a speed paint of them fixing my art by only changing the skin tone to white. It was very jarring to see them ruin my art by changing the skin tone so haphazardly. They could have at least put some effort into it. Like how are the pupils of the drawing darker than the actual skin tone they chose? Anyways, that wasn't the only thing that irritated me about this situation. The art they chose to fix was very deliberate too. The first artwork that they decided to whitewash was an original character of mine that I created for the Draw This In Your Style challenge. The second artwork they whitewashed was a commission I had created for a really sweet girl who happens to be black. So this person quote unquote fixing that specific artwork is the same as them whitewashing a portrait of an actual black person. They had so many artworks of mine to choose from, but they specifically went to look for a commission of a black girl to whitewash. Let that sink in. The third drawing they decided to quote unquote fix was a drawing I did of a black cosplayer who was cosplaying as Hinata from Naruto. I repeat, I drew a black cosplayer in Hinata's costume because I loved how she looked in that cosplay. So all the anti-race swapping people can put their pitchforks down. Fun fact is that I'm actually drawing that same artwork in this video as a speed bait. But yeah, 
I posted this artwork on my Twitter and Instagram and very clearly mentioned that the drawing was of a black cosplayer cosplaying as Hinata while making sure to tag the cosplayer in both posts. There's no way that the art fixer didn't know that when they stole my artwork because of how clear I made it. That's why I again believe that this person chose to quote unquote fix this specific artwork very deliberately, knowing full well that they were whitewashing artworks depicting actual black people. It should be clear that fixing someone's art in the first place is not okay, especially if it's done without the artist's consent. But that being said, the art that the art fixer decided to whitewash were mostly stylized portraits of actual black girls that exist, which makes their actions even worse. Now after seeing this video, I was annoyed for obvious reasons, so I decided to report it and continue to mind my own business. Specifically, I decided to revive my dead TikTok account by recording and posting new content on there after a long hiatus. Since I had been inactive on TikTok for a while, I had a lot of messages and mentions to catch up with. Little did I know that I was tagged into yet another post of someone whitewashing my artwork. The only exception here is that this art fixer actually tricked me into thinking that the TikTok they posted was fun art at first, until the grand reveal happened at the end of the video. This person claimed to be quote unquote redesigning my persona by replacing the afro buns with straight hair, giving me random battle scars, and finally completely whitewashing my skin tone. At first glance, it looks as if this person did this without bad intentions, especially when you look at their description that said, I hope to me sees this with a heart emoji attached to it until you look a bit closer at the tags that say hashtag unflop me they're pretty much saying that my original dark skin was a flop and that they did me a favor by whitewashing my persona and leaving me with battle scars for some reason i just can't get over those random scars but yeah if you go on this person's tiktok account you will quickly see that they are just blatantly racist and doing all this with the worst of intentions look no further than their pinned tiktoks where they claim claim to be making characters quote unquote prettier or to look better when all they do is literally just whitewash dark skin characters. So for all of you who thought of giving this person the benefit of the doubt, don't. This should be proof enough that they are purposefully targeting dark skin characters and me. I had someone on Twitter call me a hypocrite for getting upset at this person for stealing my persona and whitewashing it because of my opinions on race swapping. But again, it's totally different if I were to draw a self-insert into a popular TV show in my fan art than if someone was to steal my artwork and whitewash my persona that's a representation of me while calling the original a flop. It's kind of frustrating that I even have to clarify that, but let's get more into that in the next part of this video. When it comes to the topic of race swapping, I personally look at it with a lot of nuance and consideration. Is the person doing this with bad intentions? What is the reason for the race swapping in the first place? Will it cause harm if they were to race swap that specific fictional character? If the answers to these questions make sense to me, then I don't mind if someone race swaps a fictional character in their fan art, especially if the character's race or identity isn't integral to their story. I would not be okay with someone race swapping Mulan for example, because of how important her identity is to her story. Same goes with Miles Morales, it wouldn't make sense for someone to whitewash miles when they can just draw peter parker and be done with it so it's safe to say that my opinion on this topic is very case by case basis i do think that most quote unquote blackwashings aren't done with bad intentions but rather from the want of being included in media where it's not often you see dark skinned people represented i don't think that's the case when it comes to whitewashing most often than not when you see someone whitewash a black character it's done in racist ways only once in a blue moon do you see someone whitewashing a black character accidentally, but this happens so rarely that I can't help but give those who whitewash dark skin characters on the daily the side eye. This is just my opinion when it comes to this topic. I've made it very clear that it's okay to have a different opinion and I'll be just fine with that. But what we're not gonna do is use my opinions on race swapping as a way to victim blame me when I get my art stolen and whitewashed. I have never once condoned the action of fixing someone's art. I have never once condoned race swapping a character while calling the swap version better or more beautiful than the original. So to look at what I'm going through right now and using the fact that I have a nuanced opinion on race swapping in general as a way to justify someone whitewashing my persona while calling the original art a flop is super bad faith. 
Also, don't forget that it's a whole different topic entirely if someone were to race swap an independent artist's original character or persona rather than a well-known character from a popular TV show. I believe that it's 100% wrong to steal independent artists' original characters or personas and race bend them in any direction, unless the artist specifically gave permission for people to do that. If someone was to take Jaden Animation's persona and went on to make her black, when her persona is supposed to be a representation of her and she is not black, I would find that wrong and offensive. Same goes if someone was to take my persona or another black artist's persona and whitewash them when we are not white. It's simply not okay and I believe that it's racist. Because why else would you whitewash my skin tone? Why is it that I would be less of a flop if I had white skin? Like, explain it to me. And for those of you saying, oh Tumin, you blackwash characters all the time. I hate to break it to you, but again, you're wrong. I want to make it very clear that there is a difference between blackwashing a character and drawing a self-insert into a show. There's a difference between blackwashing a character and drawing a black cosplayer cosplaying a character. While I don't have anything against blackwashing when it's done with good intentions, it's still something I have never done. Instead, I have drawn self-inserts into shows I like. It's similar to cosplay, but it's in art form. I have never done this with the intention of replacing the original characters in whatever show I self-insert in. It's always done in the form of art, when I want to reimagine the story to include myself in an alternative universe. Does this mean that my version is better? No. Sailor Moon will stay a Sailor Moon despite me drawing myself a Sailor Moon. Never in these cases did I go into it with the intention of race swapping or replacing the original designs, and never have I ever insinuated that my versions are better than the original ones. That's why I think it's really bad faith for people to sit here and victim blame me for getting my art whitewashed when for one, my persona isn't a character from a TV show, it's just my art and a representation of myself, so for someone to take it without my permission, with the only intention of erasing my skin color, is 100% percent wrong, I hope I made sense of where I stand on this issue. Point is, it's wrong to whitewash my persona and art in general, and there shouldn't be any excuses made for those people. My opinions on race swapping are irrelevant to bring up when someone is being blatantly racist towards me. This whole topic is so exhausting, because it feels like I have to justify and explain why it's offensive for people to steal and whitewash my artworks. Moral of the story is that it's not okay to steal artists' artworks for the sole purpose of whitewashing them. I don't consent to my art being used in that way, and I would appreciate it if those who are doing that could stop. I felt the need to make this video because I don't think that this topic is talked about enough in the art community. I bet that if I didn't make this video today, you probably wouldn't have known any of this is taking place in the first place. That's something that I noticed when I talked about racism in my other videos. Many people in the comment sections were surprised that this is even going on because nobody ever talks about it. That's why I find it really important to have these conversations so that more people can be aware that this is a thing that's going on. Only then can we band together against this type of nasty behavior and maybe, just maybe, the space can become a bit safer for black creators too. Feel free to share your opinions with me in the comments. If you watched this video for this long, thank you. If you're wondering how you can help out, simply liking this video, commenting for the algorithm, and sharing this to one other person is more than enough. Before leaving, I want to thank my precious patrons and channel members for supporting my content. Thank you to Gloria, Galaxy Brain, Noah Smashy Smash, Ash Wetzel, Nat, Jamisha Walker Tenjimon, Seiji Hito, JJ, Ghoul Ranger, Isabella, Jiraiya Sin, Min McLaren, Glitchy Garbage, Lady Kimono, Harriet Rose, Black Wolf 275, Saint Raya, Puddles Megan, OK Ether, and Gloria. You're all amazing. Thank you so so much for always being there to support me. What did you think of all this? How would you feel if your original character or persona was race swapped and the original was called a flop? Do you have experience of your art getting stolen and fixed or anything like that? Let me know your experiences so that you know we can cope together in the comments. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and bye!